Hi, I'm Brian with Applied Ballistics. Um, I'm going to talk to you about uh, barrels today, uh, in particular how we use and regard barrels in the Applied Ballistics lab. Um, before working here or in the industry, you know, I was like a lot of other shooters with custom guns. You get one or two new barrels a year, take really good care of them, you know, and they're, that's like your one barrel for that competition season. Uh, and then maybe you get another barrel the next year. Here, uh, barrels are a lot different than that. Um, we have different barrels to test different things. Some of them get shot, um, you know, from the time we start shooting them until they have over a thousand rounds and they're shot out. Sometimes it's only a week or two. Other times, you know, we shoot a barrel, we'll bring it out when we need a specific twist for a specific cartridge, and then it might only get 30 or 40 rounds a year on it. Um, you know, just some examples. These, these ones here, I think, are 223 barrels. And yeah, this is a seven, eight, and nine twist. So when we want to test a, a 223 bullet, you've got to select the right twist for it. It's going to be one of these three. Um, we have similar sets for other calibers. Uh, we have barrels on here for other purposes. Uh, we did a project recently developing highly consistent ammo in 300 Norma and 6.5 Creedmoor. And in a case like that, we had a lot of barrels uh, that were all the same. So uh, these 1 and 8, 300 Norma barrels, they're some of the ones that got chewed up real quick in a week or two. Uh, we put 1,000 rounds on them and have their entire life documented as to uh, what the velocity started, where it finished, how the accuracy started and finished consistency of everything. So we're testing the ammunition through its life cycle in the barrel. Um, a lot of times shooters talk about load development and they're looking at their load development at a particular point in the barrel life. You know, maybe it's usually when it's new and they're working up a load for it. But what happens as a barrel goes through its life is it changes. You know, not only do your lands get further out, but the uh, roughness in the barrel changes and that changes how the bullet moves down the barrel, how much back pressure it builds and it changes your velocity and what loads shoot best in the rifle at that point in its life. So what we try to do is develop loads that will be um, high performance loads for the entire life of the barrel and not pressure out at any point or not go bad for any reason. And the only way to really know that is to test it through its entire life cycle. So that's, that's what we do. It takes a lot of barrels to do it. Um, we know a lot of barrel makers on a first name basis and have pretty much standing orders with all of them. Uh, barrels coming in, barrels getting worn out. The 375s are the fun ones. We've got a number of those that we've shot out uh, with 375 enabler. Um, you know, usually when they're totally shot out, we throw them away unless there's a reason to keep it. And, you know, maybe we'll figure out a way to clean barrels that can bring it back from being shot out or at least test it. But uh, most of these barrels up here are for precision savage precision target actions uh, like this one here and the other ones like these are for MRADs, Barrett MRADs and of course these larger ones are for the KDEX for the 375. So we don't have different actions for all these barrels uh, but we put them on and you know so that we have very versatile testing platforms that we can uh, test a wide range of things with.